with a scam artist with expensive taste. A woman in her 20s preying on wealthy, unsuspecting men. This is the police sketch right here. One victim has come forward, and police believe there are more, some of whom may be too embarrassed. Investigators say this con woman cozies up to her victim, drugs them, and then robs them blind. Here's a look at some of the things she allegedly stole, and ABC's John Triffin is here with the story. Good morning. Dan, good morning to you. This is a frightening crime, experts say. Happens more often than people may think. Authorities in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, are warning middle-aged, wealthy men to be on the lookout for this young woman that may seem nice, but is up to no good. Police sketched out a beautiful woman in her late 20s with Farrah Fawcett hair who calls herself Crystal. Authorities say she met her 45-year-old victim in a bar, went back to his house to seduce and drug him, and stole his money and valuables, totally more than $95,000. Well, the whole key to doing this is finding someone wealthy who's lonely, but he's clearly got a lot of money. She takes a run at him, and many times it works. Police say the two met at a bar inside this restaurant, YOLO. After closing it down around 1130 at night, they went to a nearby club for another drink, then he drove the exotic-looking woman back to his waterfront mansion. That's where authorities say she made him a vodka cocktail that took about 30 minutes to mix. He drank from the glass, she straight from the bottle. Next thing he remembers is waking up the following afternoon and Crystal was gone. It's like a scene straight out of Seinfeld. Eight dollars? Eight dollars? What are you doing? You're robbing me? That's pocket change compared to what authorities say Crystal made off with. A platinum Rolex watch worth $42,000, three other watches adding up to $53,600, and $6,000 in cash for a grand total of... $95,600. I think it's a crime that's so common and many of them don't get reported because the men feel embarrassed. They say Crystal even went as far as to erase her number from the victim's phone before she left. Now, it's believed there are other women out there running this very same scam, but police say at this point it's too early to tell if they're part of an organized group. But Dan and Bianca, that's why police say it's so important more victims come forward so they get a better description and put this to an end. Well, one telltale sign, if somebody takes 30 minutes to mix you a drink, <laughs> right. maybe <laughs> something's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Even the worst bartender can do a little fast. Yeah, exactly. So you make a good point. A lot of men are probably embarrassed about this. Yeah, going forward. Sure. All right, John, thanks. Thanks, John.